talking about Dave Marcus. Let's talk to him. He's right here beside me, Dave. You got that throwback on Matt Tiff's car. What do you think of the car? How's it look to you? Well, it looks nice. It ain't quite as red as the red we had, but it looks good. And what do you think about this Darlington racetrack? It's the same old Darlington you remember? Well, it's one of my favorites. I, it's unique. You know, it's a tough racetrack to get all four corners and get the car working good in all four corners. But it's a great racetrack. What do you want to see out of that paint scheme here tomorrow night? Do you want, or tomorrow, do you want to see it Victor Lane? Is that the goal? Yeah, that would certainly be nice if they can win the race, absolutely. I think you got the nice throwback hat. Is that just a hat you had, or did you get that here? The throwback hat you got on. That's a pretty old hat. That's one I had from years ago. Phil Homer from Goodyear Tire Rubber Company gave me about eight cases of them when I retired. Guys, I think that would do really well on eBay. You know what I'm wondering, though? What shoes you got on? I do not have my wingtips on, but they're sitting right down there in my truck. <laughs> That's just in case you need to get in the car, right? Just in case, yeah. There you go, guys. He's just willing and ready with those shoes to get in. If Matt it happens to have to get out. And, Parker, hopefully he'll show you uh, what wingtips look like. Well, listen, there's so many throwbacks in that interview. The hat, first of all, and then yeah. Phil Homer from Goodyear. Yeah. That brought me back. My, when I was a tire guy, Phil Homer was part of the Goodyear team, and he would hand out that same hat. I have a few of those hats at home. If I didn't have the little Chevy in, but those sounds like some Dave Marcus specials. Yeah. yeah. Now, Dave Marcus, he was loyal to Goodyear. Yeah. Fusher came into this sport back in the late 80s and early 90s, and Dave Marcus refused, to, regardless of how much everybody else changed over, he refused to go over and even put those tires on. He stayed, he wore a Goodyear hat all the time and ran Goodyear tires throughout all of it, even whenever the other tires were a lot faster at a place, uh, he stayed the course and, and was, I, I would assume, the most loyal uh, Goodyear supporter that, that they ever had. I would argue... I would like to find a driver who thinks he has more laps at most of these tracks than Dave Marcus. Oh. Not just because of racing, but back when testing was a little more open. I mean, how many Goodyear tests do you think Dave Marcus yeah. did? I mean, it's. He did about what? All of us. Dale Seniors. I'm not sure Dale was right. right. right about to launch in one day. All right, Dave, you're up. <laughs> and Tyler Reddick has that number nine looking a lot like Tim Richmond's 80.